Hi there, all my YouTube subscribers and my photolesson.com subscribers. This is Tom Moore again, and I know I've changed a little bit since my last videos, but that's one of the reasons I want to get this important information online and share with you. Today we're going to talk a little bit about portraiture posing, but before we talk about that, I really want to touch base on just a few things. Um, this video will feature archival prints that we're going to show, 2024s, that haven't changed in 30 years. You can see my four children in these pictures. They're 32 to 22 years old. I love smartphones, don't get me wrong. I shoot with smartphones all the time, but it's not the same as shooting with a high quality digital camera and doing the photo finishing that you need. So that's what this video is gonna be about. In the not too distant past, it cost money to take a picture, meaning you film, processing, printing, Nowadays, you can do it for free. They're totally abundant and totally prolific. Unfortunately, the quality of images has gone way down. There's some basic rules to capturing people and capturing portraits that will last a lifetime that one should observe. In MyPhotoLesson.com, we have a complete section on portraiture. As you can see behind me, I've done portraits for TV, radio stations, commercially, but my favorite pictures, again, are ones of families because they last a lifetime. A couple of posing tips. First of all, when you're taking a picture of a person, always focus on the lead eye. Also, make sure that their head is slightly tilted towards the weak shoulder. You'll see that in these portrait samples. Um, another thing you want to do is you want to find an open light situation. What does that mean? Well, sun is great and everybody loves a sunny day, but open shade works much better for portraiture. Uh, a background that's not too contrasty and a big open sky that's going to act as your light source. In combination with that, you can use a little flash fill to give it a little spark. Again, in these portrait samples you're seeing right here, you'll see a little sharpness, a little contrast around the nose and the eyes. That's a little tiny flash fill going off. Again, on MyPhotoLesson.com, in the location section and the portraiture section, you'll see total examples of this and te techniques on how to achieve it. So. With all the information available on MyPhotoLesson.com for much less cost than going to a college like I taught at, I encourage you to subscribe to MyPhotoLesson.com or better yet, maybe even purchase it for a friend as a photo enthusiast. Thank you so much for listening.